Good morning, it's Tuesday the 27th of February. So a deep and meaningful question to begin with today. If you had to eat one sort of tinned food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Would it be rice pudding or peaches? Would it be tinned tomato soup or sweet corn? Would it be breakfast in a tin or tuna fish? For me, there's no debate. It would definitely have to be baked beans. Where would I be with the delight without the delights of beans in tomato sauce? In America, February is canned food month, a month to celebrate the delights of tinned food products. The canning process began in 1809 when Nicholas Appert developed the first process that involved hermeneutically sealing and heat sterilizing food storage containers. Its boom came in the 19th century with companies like Campbell Soup and Heinz making the most of this thriving industry. However, back to my baked beans. Did you know that every day in the UK, we consume around 2 million tins of baked beans? That's a lot of beans and a lot of potential wind. All the beans that we eat are imported from other countries, countries like the US, Canada, Ethiopia and China. A project in Lincolnshire has been seeking to change that and to grow baked beans in the UK. Last year, there was a successful harvest and it's hoped that a particular variety of haricot beans adapted for UK soils can begin to thrive in our climate. That would offer the possibility of homegrown baked beans. This new variety, named the Capulet, took 12 years to develop and could reduce the UK's reliance on imported beans. At the moment, the project needs to build up its supply of dried beans for planting, but it's hoped that it could become a more sustainable way of providing one of our staple store cupboard favourites. I'm encouraged by stories like that. Stories of scientific knowledge being put to good use. We know that one of the ways we can tackle climate change is to limit the air miles on our food. And here's a really practical way of doing it. Growing a crop in this country that can then be harvested, processed, tinned and ultimately eaten relatively locally. Today, the 27th of February, is the International Day of the Polar Bear. A day to highlight the vulnerability of one of our world's most powerful and beautiful animals. In many ways, they've become an image associated with climate change, with melting ice flows and the warming up of our planet. We know as a species, they're facing great challenges about their future. Sometimes it's difficult to see hope when we see so many enormous challenges to our planet. And yet stories for me, like the homegrown baked beans, are a reminder that even small projects can make a difference. Just as the changes that each of us can make can make a difference to our planet. God created this wonderful world and gave us responsibility within it. May we live this day and every day with a commitment to travel lightly and to treat our planet with care and respect. God made it and saw that it was good. May we continue to value the goodness of our earth. So travel today lightly and may you be full of beans as you go. Let's pray. Loving God, we thank you for this wonderful planet with all its beauty and wonder. Help us to be thankful for signs of hope and all the ways in which we can challenge climate change. Give us energy to make a difference. Go with us today. Amen.